Okay, we're back. This is the season finale of The Wire. Let's get into it. Ain't it obvious? I just got the check for depositing. 750 for the sound wave to get it processed. Won't stop till that shit weighing down my pockets. My main things to my main things. She a blossom. When she eats the pain with the brain, she a doctor. She open up dinner thing thicker than the plot gets. Swear that shit is awesome. Sight for the optics. Young nigga on top. Nike's all I'm rocking. So that all they see is checks from where the head to where the socks fit. No logo on the buy. Folk or flicking no road strips. Won't even show my face until all the shows book. Eat the cash in advance. Leave them all social. I'm the guy they chosen. Rise up like the Rosen. Put them on a poster. All the way up in the sky where the stars posted. Sip it on that rose. I put it down on coasters. Stack francs from the waves till I own the ocean. More praises for the sayings. Let it all soak in. They like, hey, that shit is flame. Bitch, I know I rode. They going tight. Dumb. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. This is Abby with Abby Reviews. This is going to be my review of uh, and recap of The Wire. Season 1, Episode 13, Scenting Scene. This is the season finale. So, uh, we start with Kima, who wakes up to bunk and another detective looking at her. Like, can I risk? Oh. So they show her the photo array and she picks out Lil Man. Um, she makes him because she saw him. But she says Weebay was in the dark. Weebay was in the second photo array and um He tries to lead her into saying that she saw Weebay, but you know, Kima is not that type of person. She's not going to to lie just to get the job done. So um she says that she can't make Weebay because he was in the dark. So we then go to Herc, who um, they're doing something and, and Herc is, is breaking Carver's balls about him becoming a sergeant. Um, we then go to, um, Daniels who comes in to, and to find out what they got, um, uh, to keep going on the wiretap. McNulty gets a call from a, from the prosecutor to say that she got a call from D'Angelo's lawyer in Jersey. Um, so we then go to Avon and Stringer and the attorney and they're going to bail everyone out. Um, Avon and Stringer's new office is inside a funeral home. Um, D'Angelo's mama comes to see them to figure out what they're going to do about D'Angelo. And she was like, I got him y'all just make sure that y'all are taking care of what you need to take care of so um when they uh the prosecutor and mcnulty and them are having a conversation with d'angelo he is spilling his guts he said and and um they show him a picture of wallace they show him a picture of the security guard um he gives up who probably shot the security guard, which is Weebay, but he did not give up Bodie or Poot for killing Wallace. Um, and they ask him, why is he willing to give it up? And he says he just wants to get out of the game. He's like, he felt like he could breathe easier in jail than he has since he's gotten out and he just wants to be able to go somewhere where he can breathe again. So he'll give them all the information if they give him a new, like uh, put him in witness protection and give him a new life so that he can breathe again. So um, Daniels talks to his wife about the case and Burrell tells, uh, and he tells, and he tells her that Burrell knew about the money. Um, So, McNulty and the prosecutor uh, have left D'Angelo and she was like, we were really going to make a huge, this is a career making case and she's on cloud nine and the sky is the limit and she jumps on McNulty and they have sex in the parking garage. Now, uh, Bunk and Freeman are trying to find Weebay in Philly. 
um, the crews are fighting in the pit because um, they're trying to take over because Avon and them, all they dope got seized. So they trying to hold on to the pit until their re-up can come. And they got crews like at the gate really trying to take over. And they fight them off. So McNulty goes to visit Kima and she asked about the case in front of her girlfriend who gets pissed because she's like, why do you even give a fuck about any of this? Because this bullshit got you shot. Um, and she said that uh, the girlfriend wants her to record it and she doesn't know if she wants to do that. And that Kima is a cop through and through through her DNA. So I don't that's not going that's not going to work. Um, so the detail goes to talk to the feds because, you know, they have all of this evidence and stuff and it includes senators and everything else. And they're trying to figure out how they're going to parlay this into getting everybody. And so what the feds tell them is, is that they, um, are more concerned about getting Senator Clay Davis, um, on voter whatever whatever the taking bribes and all that good stuff and they'll let Avon and Strieger go because to them Clay Davis is the bigger fish and so the prosecutors and the cops in this situation is like so we did all this work to get these drug dealers off the street and y'all just gonna let them go just to get the sentence there and they tell them to go fuck themselves and no nah, this is not gonna be a federal case um uh, D'Angelo mama come to see him and she ends up talking him into shutting the fuck up and revoking the deal that he um, got through uh, McNulty and the prosecutor and just taking the charge for whatever they're going to charge him with, whatever murder, whatever it is that they're going to charge him for him eating whatever it is the charge is. Um, Daniel's then we then go back to the basement and Daniel confronts Carver um cause once they got rid of once the Daniel stopped being uh the deputy of Ops Rail's mole telling him everything that was happening with the case he still had another mole inside the department they was trying to figure out and it turns out that it was Daniels and it wasn't Daniels it was Carver and he tried to explain he's like he's the deputy ops I didn't know what else I was supposed to do and so um he tells him that's not how things work. You're going to be out there eventually training up the next and you need to be training them to be real police and not moles. Um, he, Daniels then walks out the office. He gives Presby back his gun. Um, Presby decides to stay in the office. Um, they arrest Weebay. Um, the prosecutor then gets a call from that the Angelo's lawyer is switching up. Uh, deputy, so Weebay eats the murder charges, including Gant. Um, Avon takes the drug charge. Bodie is now the man in the pit um, with Poot as his second. Um, Detective Freeman is back in homicide. McNulty has a conversation with Bubbles and... After McDulty visited Kima, he went to go see Bubbles and he was like, he gave Bubbles a bunch of money for all of the work that he did. And he was like, she's like, she said she's sorry that it took so long. And he was like, no, not a problem. And he gave most of the money back and he was like, give this back to her uh, and don't tell her that I fell off the wagon because Bubbles is back using again, unfortunately. So we then go back to the um back to the pits and Poot is educating the newbie on how to serve the, the people in the pit about how 
the same person who takes the money is not the same person that say that serves them because of course you if somebody takes pictures they got the wholesale um the judge sees McNulty in the courthouse and really McNulty ain't got shit to say because he was the judge turned on him to keep his judgeship McNulty lost all respect and he don't have anything to do with him um D'Angelo gets 20 years, 20 years. Um, Johnny and Bubbles are plotting on pl stealing some more plumbing. Santangelo is in uniform, walking a beat. Presby is cleaning out the office. Kima is recovering in the hospital. Freeman and Bunk see McNulty, who is a water cop now. And this and um, Stringer is still with the same old, same old. Nothing has much has changed for him. The episode ends with Omar showing up and robbing us and robbing a boy, uh, robbing one of the dope boys. So that's to say, the more things change, the more things stay the same. And that was the end of the first season of The Wire. Um, I do believe me, really B, and El Teddy will be getting together soon to do a panel about this first season and talking about everything that's happened. Please keep an eye out and a lookout for that. This has been my review for uh, The Wire Season 1, Episode 13. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.